Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. Today I'm going to show you how I thrift when I'm on vacation, and I'm going to show you my recent thrift haul from my trip to Palm Springs. If you're new here, it's a pleasure to have you. I'm Teresa Elling. I'm a professional organizer, a parenting coach, a wife and homeschool mom to six graduated kids. Now, as much as I love to thrift, go to estate sales, yard sales, find things secondhand, my favorite is to shop secondhand when I'm on vacation. All you need is a smartphone and a vehicle. So when I get to a new city where I am vacationing, I go right away to my maps and I punch in thrift stores nearby. Usually they will all pop up on my map and I get all these little dots, which gets me really excited. Now, sometimes I might be in a more remote location and I might have two or three dots, but I'm still gonna go check out all those shops. I plan out a route and I hit as many as I can. Now, from year to year, um, well, I've probably been um, thrifting in Palm Springs in that whole area, Palm Springs, Indio, Cathedral City, Palm Desert, etc., for about 20 years. And I do have a very large thrift haul from uh, my last Palm Springs vacation. I will link that below if you wanna check it out. Um, in that video, I also go through the 10 things that I always look for when I'm thrifting. Now, this particular trip wasn't exactly a vacation. I went down to work for a very special client redoing her pantry, and that will be coming up in a video soon. If you are not subscribed, would you consider that and hit that notification bell? That that way you will know when I upload a new video. And if you're enjoying this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Today's haul pretty much comes under three categories, um, linens, household items, and children's items. So let's get started with linens. Uh, when I walked into the thrift store and saw this, I just was drawn to it. And partly because of the color, and the texture and the fringe. One of the things I love about buying vintage is that you are usually getting linens that are well-worn. Now, because of that, you can easily see if something is faded, if it's pilling. And if I know that something's probably gone through many washes and it's not pilling, it's not curling up on the edges, things like that, I know this is gonna be a great item for me. So this blanket I just thought was beautiful. I pulled it out right away, found the price tag, $5. I was so excited. And then when I got home and thoroughly checked it out, it's from Pottery Barn. And so just an absolutely beautiful throw. It will go great in any room in my house. The other thing that I found, which I paid a bit more for, but I think it is worth it, is this coverlet. It's quite heavy. It's uh, textured cotton. It has a beautiful scalloped edge to it and this leaf print that goes throughout the whole thing. I actually paid $20 for this and that's a bit high for me, but I just loved it. And again, because of the color and the pattern, it would go well anywhere in my home, but I'm thinking that it's either going to go in my bedroom or possibly our new guest room that I'm working on. So um, this I just thought was a steal. I didn't confirm the size. I'm guessing it's a queen or a king. I did spread it out full size on the floor of the thrift store because I wanted to make sure that there weren't stains, there weren't tears or rips, and it's in perfect condition. Next in the housewares um, section, I picked up this little basket, really cute, in great condition, no um, damage at all, which is often unusual with baskets. I just loved the size. I love the little pull handle here. It would be great on a shelf, really nice for storage because of the shape. It's not round, it's not gonna take up too much room. So this one, I did not have a specific spot for it. And usually that's my goal. If I know where I'm gonna put something, great. If I don't know, I usually will pass on it because otherwise I'm going to clutter my home with all these ideas, things that I might be able to use someday, and we all know where that leads. But in the case of baskets, I keep a collection at the ready 
for when I need one of a certain shape or size. The other thing is these cute little salt and pepper shakers, and they are the green glass and kind of a reproduction. I don't believe these are vintage, they're probably brand new, but I love that I can put salt and pepper in these and you can see it. You don't have to try to find an S or a P or determine which is salt and which is pepper. So I thought they were really cute. Those will go into my kitchen. Next is this teacup, made in England, really cute. These are often anywhere from 10 to 15, 20 dollars, especially in antique stores. This one was 2.99. And because we often do tea in our home, we do tea for showers and special occasions. I wanted to add to my collection, especially at this price. I was actually thinking about doing a video about afternoon tea and discussing high tea and the difference. If you think that would be a fun video, would you comment below? Are you interested in learning how to do an afternoon tea properly, the English way? Uh, I think that would be a really fun video. And then I got this book. And I have to tell you, first of all, about this one thrift store I went into. There are a couple of chains in the Palm Spring areas, including Goodwill, and I hit a few of those. But this was one thrift store I went into that was um, an independent charity, and uh, it was so quirky, and it was so packed full of stuff. It was huge. The rooms went on and on, and the shelves were just loaded. I, I know I didn't even look at everything. It was just too much, too much to take in. But I did a quick scan. I saw so many pretty things, beautiful tea sets. Oh, this um, white tea set with a silver base, really unusual, unlike anything I had ever seen before. I also saw these brass candlesticks that actually have ringing bells on them. There might be a tiny bit of regret on not picking those up for Christmas, but it's okay, life goes on. Anyway, this is the Music Lovers Encyclopedia, and because my husband is a musician, I thought it would be really nice to have this in our home, and it's just a beautiful book, beautiful book to look at, um, dark linen cover, and I thought he would just enjoy going through the dictionary. Uh, another thing I found in that quirky thrift store was this umbrella and I was coming around a corner, spotted it right away. I have been looking for vintage umbrellas with wood handles. And while this one does have a wood tip, the handle is leather, very unusual. I haven't seen one like this and I really love it. And I think this is just a beautiful classic look that's going to be great in my umbrella stand in the fall. I'm gonna save my favorite thing for last and jump over to the kids section. I only got a couple of things, but I could not resist this adorable cardigan. And I'm going up to see my brand new grandson in Idaho um, in just a few days. So I'm going to take this and it didn't have a tag in the back, so I don't know the brand, but it is so soft and adorable. So I'm going to take that to Fitz. If you missed the nursery reveal of his nursery. Oh, it's just adorable. A really um, gender neutral nursery, uh, mid-century modern home. I'll link that below too, so you can check it out. The other thing I got was Pat the Bunny. Now this came in the original sleeve in the box. It's the deluxe edition, if I can get it out of the box. Let's see. I love Pat the Bunny. If you've never seen this book, it is so precious. I had this for my children and each page has things, oh, see, it's never been used. So this hasn't even been lifted up yet. It's brand new. So, you know, you play peekaboo with Paul, you smell the flowers and there's a scent. Uh, you look into the mirror. There's um, just little things to do. Oh, my kids love this one. Scratch Daddy, Scratchy Face. And um, this one actually has two or three bonus pages from the original, let me see when it was written. I wanna say it was 1940. Yes, originally published in 1940 with the extra pages. And then later copies dropped those last two pages, but they're included in this. So, you know, thrifting is a great way to find gifts. This is brand new 
in its original case and it would just make such a lovely uh, baby shower gift, new baby gift, um, birthday gift. So keep gifts in mind when you're thrifting. Okay, on to my last find and it is this gorgeous terracotta vase and I just think it's beautiful. These large handles, um, it's about 14 inches high maybe. And so to tell you the truth about this one, I went and I saw it and I loved it and I sent a picture to my daughters, my daughters and my daughter-in-law. We have a thrift haul Marco Polo and I sent it to them and just said, oh, isn't this gorgeous? But I could not think of where I would put it. And because of that, I let it go. And the next day I thought, oh, I know where I could put it. I could put it on my kitchen island. I'm going back. So I did. And I was almost sure that it was going to be gone. I mean, the chances were very high, a piece like this, but it was still there. So I picked it up and I'm so glad that I did. I think it's beautiful just the way it is. Very rustic looking. And I'm excited to put some branches in it and try some different ways of styling it. Well, that's it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope if you haven't thrifted before when you're on vacation, that you'll give it a try. I really feel that it's the best way to get a souvenir, if you will, from your vacation. I'm never going to forget that I got this in Palm Desert. And I'm not coming home with some random t-shirt or tchotchke or something that I don't really need to remind me of my trip. I have something that I absolutely love and will use in my home. Thanks for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Have a great day.